Hello everyone, uh, I am Chirag Jain and I have secured All India Rank 10 in Indian, for Indian Forest Service Examination 2018. Um, I have been a student of Forum IS and uh, I joined it uh, for my mains examination preparation. First, uh, uh, here I am sh uh, to share my strategy. Uh, first, I will give a brief introduction about myself and uh, about my journey. And then I will talk about the strategy uh, for the preparing for this examination. So, um, uh, I come fr uh, from a place called Saharanpur in UP. Uh, I was born and brought up there. And uh, um, in 2011, I got admission into IIT Kanpur. I graduated from there in 2015 in electrical engineering. Since then, I have been preparing for civil services and Indian Forest Service examination. Uh, this is my third attempt in civil services and second attempt in the Indian Forest Service. So, uh, my motivation uh, for joining this civil services is like this. Uh, if we keep a lamp on a floor, it will give its light over a very small area. But if we keep the same lamp on the ceiling, it will give its light over a very broader area. It will eliminate its, uh, the whole room. Same is with civil services and the rest of the public services. They provide us a big opportunity to make a very big impact. Uh, whatever decisions we take and whatever actions we make, the uh, impact on the people's lives is much bigger. With this motivation, I uh, embarked on this preparation. After uh, I first uh, appeared in 2016, but could not clear the mains. And the uh, same story uh, was in 2017. Uh, I appeared in the uh, interview, but could not make into the final list. The uh, shortcoming was in the mains, uh, in my GS part. So uh, for that, I uh, joined, uh, for 2018 attempt, I joined uh, Forum IES. And uh, that was very helpful for civil services as well as for Indian Forest Service, especially in the GK of the IFS. This is briefly, br uh, this is my brief introduction. Now I will talk about the strategy to deal with this examination. First, I will talk about an overall strategy that includes the strategy for uh, prelims as well as for the mains. I'll uh, divide the strategy into certain timelines. I'm assuming that uh, the exam is in the uh, month of June in a particular area. So before uh, the, uh, in the preceding year, from September to December, this is the first stage where we refer to certain basic books. They include NCRTs of uh, various subjects, geography, history, etc. And uh, there are cert certain standard books like Lakshmikant for Indian polity and uh, environment for Shankar IS and so on. So in this first stage, you should build a solid foundation. You should study these books in such a manner that you do not need to revisit these books frequently. You should make your own notes and you should uh, do some mark marking in these books. But uh, the overall strategy should be that you should build a solid foundation and you should not be uh, needing to come back to these books frequently. This is uh, the first stage that uh, primarily includes four months, uh, that will take around four months of September to de December. Now in the uh, coming year, uh, that is, uh, you, uh, there's a second, uh, second stage that would include three months and uh, it involves uh, referring to various coaching materials and various uh, government documents. You can refer to PIB, you can refer to Niti Aayog reports and uh, second ARC re reports rec uh, recommendations and Punchi Commission so, and such things. So uh, and uh, you can also refer to coaching materials. There are various uh, good materials available in the market. The basic point is you should uh, build value. You should add value to whatever you have done earlier through the uh, medium of standard books. So this process would uh, take around three months uh, from January to March. And this should also be accompanied by uh, solving various test papers for bo uh, prelims as well as for mains. You can uh, join a good test series in the market. Forum IS is also doing, uh, conducting various good test series and uh, they will be very helpful. Because uh, ultimately in the mains examination, what matters is how much you have practiced. And that would come when you uh, solve some test papers the quality of answer writing will definitely improve. Then there are two months, April to May. 
for in these two months you should focus exclusively on prelims uh, that includes revision of uh, the earlier materials that you have studied and you should also solve some test papers uh, there are various m papers um, available in the market uh, the basic rationale behind solving many test papers is that uh, the nature of prelims uh, these days is such that uh, looking at a particular question you ca it's very difficult to decipher what is right answer or what is wrong answer so you have to develop that kind of uh, uh, mindset where by looking at the question and by looking at the options uh, given you should be able to find out what is the correct answer and uh, that will come when you solve many papers that kind of attitude that kind of mindset will automatically develop uh, i developed that kind of mindset when uh, i solved many papers and i scored 130 plus in all the three prelims uh, 2018 i am not aware but in 2016 17 I, uh, I scored 130 plus so this was my strategy for prelims and now i'll talk about the strategy for the mains uh, ifs mains it has uh, six papers uh, one paper is of gk uh, second paper of english and uh, the remaining uh, papers are of two optional subjects of two two papers each for gk uh, the preparation that you have done for civil services examination uh, would suffice you should also have a look at uh, some past year papers with that you will uh, know what is the frequency of the questions that are being asked the questions although are simpler but you should do some practice before the examination for english there are two parts one is of grammar and second is of writing comprehension for writing comprehension you should look at internet and see what are the uh, formats uh, of various things like reports and uh, letter writing and uh, pressy writing so you should know the format and do some practice and second is grammar part for that, uh, I refer to a book called Ren and Martin. It is a very good book. You can refer to that. And you should uh, refer to at least one book. I refer to Gr Ren and Martin. You can also refer to that. Uh, apart from GK and English, uh, optional subject, I had forestry and mathematics. So fir first, I'll talk about forestry. Uh, for forestry, uh, the most important reference book is Manikanandan and Prabhu. It is uh, uh, ev nearly every student studies this book, and it is a very good book. Uh, if you are studying forestry for the first time, then this book may uh, you may find it a uh, bit difficult. So for that, uh, you can ref also refer to certain side books uh, for various uh, various special topics. Like uh, there is one topic, silvic culture. For that, there is a book called. Uh, 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 Principles and Practice of Silviculture by L.S. Khanna. Uh, silviculture, uh, one is Principles of Silviculture and uh, the other one is uh, the Practices of Silviculture. You can refer to these books. For Forest Mensuration, there is one book. Uh, for fa Forest Management, uh, there is one book by an author. I'll share the list of the books uh, on my blog after some time. So, uh, you can refer to side books. They'll aid you in understanding the forest uh, forestry uh, syllabus and uh, for uh, revision and all those purposes you should refer to manikananan for understanding you can refer to these side books this is more or less about forestry then i'll talk about mathematics uh, my mathematics score has been very uh, good in the past paper uh, examinations uh, in last year forest also i was the top scorer in if uh, ifs mathematics so mathematics should be seen in two parts there are certain conventional topics like uh, vector analysis uh, analytical geometry uh, real analysis abstract algebra and there are no non conventional topics that are related to physics they include uh, dynamics statics fluid dynamics rigid dynamics for that uh, for conventional topics you should uh, do sufficient practice from the standard books I'll share the list of the standard books uh, after some time. These topics should be done in such a way that you are sleeping and someone wakes you up from the sleep. Then you should be able to solve their questions. Then for non-conventional topics, you should, uh, they are very difficult topics. Uh, generally people leave those topics, but I would recommend that you prepare a set of questions for these topics. 
for every uh, topic uh, from the standard books, you should uh, do a set of questions and prepare them. If in the examination, the question is asked from tho uh, the, that question set, you should solve it. But if it is outside that question set, you should uh, try to leave it. Because the cost benefit uh, ratio is very adverse in the case of these topics. So this is uh, about mathematics. Now I'll share some uh, do's uh, that you should, uh, you should focus on for the IFS examination. And these things would also help you in the long term in the career as, a, as an IFS officer. The most important quality for this service is the inclination towards outdoor life. So if you have uh, this quality, uh, an inclination towards outdoor life, then it is well and good. And uh, if you don't have, please start preparing accordingly. Uh, you should uh, uh, visit certain forest areas. I visited uh, certain forest areas. I have been very close, uh, associated closely to with the forest. And uh, uh, secondly, you should focus on your physical fitness because this uh, after the uh, after you are selected, you have to take a walking test. Uh, walking test that includes walking 25 kilometers in four hours. And uh, uh, it would be good if you are f physically fit, if you are able to mm, uh, run for a certain time. I run for six kilometers in around uh, half an hour uh, regularly. So uh, you should do certain uh, some uh, these kind of activities uh, that would help you in the walking test. Apart from that, uh, this uh, preparation, this examination process is very uh, tiring. Uh, a lot of times we feel frustrated, we feel irritated. So you should uh, engage yourself in certain activities that would help you in relax in the short term. And in the long term, they should uh, help you in the, uh, in the uh, career as a public servant. For example, I'll give you an example from my life. Um, uh, I have interacted with various officials and uh, recently I went on a trip called Good Governance Yatra where I interacted with various uh, government officials. I saw the first-hand implementation of various projects that are being run in the country. So uh, uh, this was done after the IFS mains. So uh, this provided me a relaxed relaxation, uh, a relaxed uh, routine uh, that uh, out of the exam process, tiring exam process. Also, this helped me in the uh, building an awareness about the public service. And these things would help me in the long run. So you should also look for uh, such kind of activities and not uh, solely uh, getting involved only in the preparation process. So this is something I would like to share. Uh, the I would like to thank Forum IS that has provided me uh, the platform to share my views on the exam process. Apart from that, I'll share my uh, certain uh, more inputs for the aspirants on my blog. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you all.